Hello, Sebastian Lacido here, and welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. I'm in Luke chapter 21 this morning. It says, And he looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury, and he saw also a certain poor widow putting in two mites. And he said, Truly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than, all, than, than them all. For all these gave out of their abundance, having put in the offering for God, but she out of her poverty put in all her livelihood that she had. And so we learn an important lesson here about giving. You know, um, this is a, a touchy subject in the church and it really shouldn't be because if you understand God owns all of our wealth, God owns our lives, God owns, if you give your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then he owns me. He owns me. He owns my life. He owns my time. He owns my family. He owns my wealth. He owns my assets. There's nothing that I own. I give everything to him because he's the Lord of my life. I deny myself, pick up my cross, and follow him. So Jesus, observing wealthy people putting money into the basket uh, to support the church, observes a poor widow who puts in a very little, but it's all that she had, her sacrifice was greater. You know, and so he said, truly I say to you, this widow has put in more than them all. So heaven doesn't look at the amount. Heaven looks at the amount according to what you have. You know, I, I, I remember doing a fundraiser. I don't want to put anybody down. I'm not going to use a name. But we were doing a fundraiser for something that had to do, I think, with human trafficking at the time. And I remember, a, you know, a very, very wealthy man gave me, uh, gave me $1,000 for it. And then later that week, he bought a $5,000 box of cigars. You know, so I'm looking at it saying, okay, we can help these women who've been battered and bruised. And, and so when you look at giving, there's a wall sometimes in the heart of man that, you know, you, you, that, that you shouldn't give to the church. When you understand this, Jesus is saying, Heaven values that woman's two mites more than these, you know, could be $50,000 gifts. Why? She gave out of her necessity. It caused her to forsake even her livelihood, it says. So she couldn't even buy food as a result of it. So what she did was she gave it to the Lord. She denied herself. And so when you look at giving, it's not an amount, you know, if you're, if you're worth $10 million, you know, $50,000 is like, you know, $50 to somebody with $100,000. I mean, you have to look at what is the sacrifice, you know, and, and so people look at the amount as it pertains to other gifts, 20s and 100s. It's not. It's what's the sacrifice. What are you really doing? Do you really believe in God? Do you really acknowledge him by giving to his church? Do you really, really, really understand that if your heart stopped today, that money meant nothing, but what you give will give you rewards in heaven? You know, over in, in uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse uh, 5, it says, uh, verse 6, it says, But I say to you, he who sows sparingly shall reap sparingly, he who sows bountifully shall reap bountifully. So let each one give as he pur purposes in his heart not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, so you always have sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance in every good work. Amen. And so when we look at this story, we have to understand, you know, that the church needs money. I, I ask you all the time, we're a remote ministry. We don't ha I don't have an audience in front of me right now. You're my audience. And so we survive based on the gifts. Your church on Sunday survives based on your gifts and your offerings. The other ministries that you may support survive based on your gifts and your offerings. But understand something. When you give, uh, God loves a cheerful giver. God doesn't want somebody grudgingly. You know, I, 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 I hear people all the time say, well, I'm not giving to them because they do this, this, and this. And what you're, what you're not doing is you're not listening to the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit telling you? So that's our broadcast for today. Naturally, according to the message, please pray and see if the Holy Spirit moves on your heart to join us. 
Also, let us join you on your journey to know God and his word. Go to our website. We have plenty of curriculum and workbooks and DVDs, and you can download all of it as well. It's all free. It's paid for by our partners. And then please share this with family and friends. God bless you guys, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.